They shimmer like living coins, drifting silently in the stillness of the Amazon. With colors that rival stained glass and social behaviors more complex than many mammals, discus fish have fascinated scientists, aquarists, and nature lovers alike for decades. But beneath their graceful beauty lies an evolutionary marvel. This is the untold story of the discus fish, a journey into biology, ecology, evolution, and human fascination. Discus fish are native to the Amazon River Basin, primarily inhabiting the slow-moving blackwater tributaries of Brazil, Colombia, and Peru. These waters are acidic, tinted dark by tannins from decomposing vegetation and poor in minerals that create a unique environment that demands extraordinary physiological adaptation. Within the genus Symphysodon, which belongs to the cichlid family, there are three recognized species. Symphysodon equifaciatus, the green discus, Symphysodon discus, commonly known as the heckle discus, and Symphysodon tarzu, which includes blue and red varieties. While each species has its own distinct features, they all share the same elegant, laterally compressed body shape that allows for agile navigation through dense aquatic vegetation. And their gill structures have evolved for efficiency allowing them to survive in oxygen-poor waters by maximizing gas exchange. The vibrant colors of the discus, a spectrum that includes deep blues, fiery reds, and golden hues, come from specialized skin cells called iridophores that reflect light in brilliant ways. These colors are not merely decorative as they play crucial roles in camouflage, mating displays, and social signaling. A highly developed lateral line system also helps the discus detect minute changes in water pressure and vibrations, allowing it to remain acutely aware of its surroundings, even in the murkiest waters. Unlike many solitary freshwater species, discus fish are highly social and form structured schools where social hierarchies are actively maintained. These hierarchies dictate everything from access to food to mating rights and territory boundaries. Within these groups, fish communicate through nuanced body language like fin flaring, subtle nudges and shifts in posture convey dominance or submission. Lower ranking individuals may even fade their colors as a visual sign of submission to more dominant fish. Research has indicated that discus fish possess the cognitive ability to recognize individual group members pointing to advanced levels of social intelligence and memory. This dynamic social environment fosters cooperation, competition, and a constantly shifting balance of power that plays out in a silent underwater ballet. When it comes to reproduction, discus fish exhibit some of the most remarkable parenting behaviors in the aquatic world. Mated pairs begin by cleaning a flat surface meticulously, preparing it for the delicate task of egg laying. After fertilization, both parents take turns guarding and fanning the eggs to ensure proper oxygenation and protection from opportunistic predators. The most astonishing aspect of their parenting, however, unfolds after the fry hatch. Unlike most fish species that abandon their young, discus parents provide direct nourishment through a unique secretion produced by their skin, a specialized mucus rich in proteins, lipids, and immune-boosting compounds. This mucus functions much like mammalian milk, evolving in composition as the fry grow. In the earliest days, the secretion is densely packed with essential nutrients and antibodies to jumpstart the fry's immune system and development. As the days progress, the biochemical makeup subtly shifts to accommodate the fry's changing nutritional needs just as human breast milk transitions from colostrum to mature milk. For up to two weeks, the fry graze on their parents' bodies, alternating between mother and father in a synchronized dance of dependence and growth. This rare strategy, nearly unheard of among freshwater fish, represents an extraordinary evolutionary adaptation that maximizes offspring survival in a challenging environment. 
Surviving in the acidic, mineral-poor black water of the Amazon demands extraordinary physiological adaptations. Discus fish have evolved efficient ion regulation mechanisms within their gill cells, allowing them to maintain internal chemical balance despite their environment. Their osmoregulatory systems are finely tuned to prevent dehydration and ionic imbalance, enabling them to thrive in water with extremely low levels of calcium and magnesium. To meet their mineral requirements, discus are highly selective in their feeding behavior, often targeting specific prey that help compensate for these deficiencies. These exacting environmental needs make discus fish notoriously difficult to maintain in captivity. Their ideal water conditions include a temperature range of 82 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit and extremely soft water. Even slight deviations can stress the fish and trigger immune responses that leave them vulnerable to disease. Visual communication is central to discus behavior, with color changes serving as the primary medium. These shifts are controlled by complex neuroendocrine pathways that affect chromatophores, the pigment cells in their skin. During aggressive encounters, a discus may darken dramatically to signal dominance or readiness to defend its territory. During courtship, however, vibrant coloration intensifies as a visual cue of mating readiness. In contrast, stress or illness can cause the fish to pale, a subtle but significant indicator to observant aquarists. These color dynamics aren't just for show, as they offer insight into the fish's emotional and physiological states. Mastering this visual language is crucial for breeders and hobbyists alike, as it can help diagnose issues early and improve overall fish welfare. The evolutionary history of the discus fish is written in the ever-shifting landscapes of the Amazon floodplains. Geographic isolation caused by seasonal flooding and shifting river courses likely drove the divergence of the three main species, each adapted to its unique microhabitat, developing distinct coloration patterns, behavior, and environmental tolerances. Symphysodon discus, often considered the most ancient lineage, displays bold central stripes that are thought to be ancestral traits. Recent genetic research has uncovered areas of hybridization between species, suggesting that speciation in discus is still an ongoing process. This dynamic evolutionary story underscores the incredible plasticity and resilience of the species and offers valuable insights into how biodiversity is generated and maintained in complex ecosystems. The journey of the discus fish from wild Amazonian waters to ornamental aquarium centerpiece is a tale of perseverance and human fascination. First introduced to the aquarium trade in the early 20th century, they were initially deemed too fragile and complex for the average hobbyist. But as technology advanced, so did our ability to replicate their natural habitat in home aquariums. Modern breeding programs have produced a dazzling array of color morphs, from the fiery pigeon blood to the intricate leopard skin and ghostly albino varieties. However, the pursuit of aesthetic perfection has not come without consequences. Inbreeding and poor genetic management have sometimes led to health issues, prompting a modern shift toward more responsible and sustainable breeding practices that preserve not only beauty, but biological integrity. Today, discus fish are both a testament to human ingenuity and a reminder of nature's fragility. Whether gliding through a flooded Amazonian forest or swimming serenely in a well-kept aquarium, the discus fish remains a symbol of natural beauty and evolutionary wonder. Their vivid colors, complex social lives, and unparalleled parental care place them among the most fascinating of all freshwater species. More than just ornamental fish, they are subjects of scientific inquiry and living art forms that challenge our understanding of intelligence, adaptation, and survival. As we continue to study and admire these aquatic jewels, we deepen not only our appreciation for the natural world, but also our commitment to preserving its richness for generations to come.
However, as mesmerizing as discus fish are in captivity, their fate in the wild remains uncertain. Habitat degradation, deforestation, and the ongoing effects of climate change are slowly altering the delicate blackwater ecosystems they call home. Seasonal flooding patterns are shifting, and with them, the breeding cycles and food availability that wild discus rely on. Illegal collection for the aquarium trade has also placed pressure on certain populations despite efforts to promote sustainable and ethical sourcing. While captive breeding programs have flourished worldwide, preserving their natural habitats is crucial to maintaining their ecological and genetic diversity. In the wild, discus are not just ornamental. They are indicators of environmental health, living jewels whose survival reflects the broader state of the Amazon. As we marvel at their beauty, we must also recognize our responsibility to protect the waters they come from.